Welcome back, I'm back with some new footwear to have a look at today. Today I'm going to be looking at a couple of pairs of Wallaby Clarks in a camo colourway. Welcome back, so if you watch my channel you'll know that I'm into old school kit, kind of retro kicks, not really hype beasty stuff and I also love doing reviews of Clarks and I think they kind of are great kind of smart casual shoes and you get great quality as well when you buy a pair of Clarks. Now I wanted to have a look at a couple of pairs today, I recently bought this pair that were on sale and these are green camo they call them, it kind of doesn't look like camo, it almost looks like kind of water damage but that's what they're called green camo so I bought this pair and I already had this pair which I haven't worn yet um, and I wanted to contrast them really this pair I really really love I just haven't had an opportunity to wear them yet I know they look a bit bonkers but actually in hand they're they are wearable they're just kind of really a light blue this pair were in the sale and I thought you know what I like that blue pair so let me see what this pair is all about in reality, in hand, I'm not going to keep these. I don't think these are for me. These are £75. I think these were about £70, maybe £75, about that amount. They're 130 retail, but you can pick these up for £75 and you get decent quality materials with Clarks. And that's with a standard GR pair, not even to mention a collab. So anyway, so let's have a look at some of these details. As you can see, we have that customary crepe sole well, it's kind of off-white and it does dirty really quickly but it's I don't think it's a big deal really you know the bottom's gonna get dirty and this does mess up but by the time you kind of worn them out it is irreplaceable which is one thing people complain about but I think by the time you've worn them and worn them out they're ready to go anyway so you've got these two pairs pretty much the same thing the main thrust of what I want to say today is they just feel different in terms of quality this green pair which I bought later maybe a year later just feels significantly to me cheaper in construction to this blue pair. The first camo pair that came out and I was close to getting was a cream kind of off-white and I'll put a photo up of them. Then came these blue ones and they do them in not just the Wallaby, they do them in I think the Desert Coal and the Trek. They do all the range of the original Wallabies in these colorways. And then there's like an orange kind of um, um, turmeric kind of color and then there's this green pair so it's quite a distance in terms of time from putting these out and they're little touches really and i'll run through them i don't know if you can see there but on this blue pair you've got this little bit of kind of speckling and on this pair you don't have that you just have the plain kind of camo and the nap on this suede is just a little bit thicker i think and this pair is similar but definitely around this kind of border here you can see it's a little bit more raised than the blue pair. So I think the I think the quality is a little bit um, denser of the suede on the blue pair. Then another little point, just the laces, you get aglets on this pair, gold aglets on this pair, just standard. And then you get kind of gold printing on the blue pair that you don't get on the green pair as well. So same thing with the inside there. And same thing there as well. It's gold on one and kind of a silvery on the other. To be honest, I prefer this colorway full stop anyway. This is way more me. So maybe, you know, my bias is because I, I prefer the colorway, but just a couple of touches really. And again, this one is made of natural rubber crepe sole and you don't get that detail on this pair. In terms of reviewing a pair of shoes, I think that Clark's Wallabies are definitely a, a must have shoe for me, in my collection. I think they tick a lot of boxes and um, I would definitely always recommend waiting for a sale if you can some pairs will just not go on sale because they're just high demand some like the vegan leather materials some of the higher quality materials will go and sell like black pairs you are reckon you're paying 100 pounds but you'll get some of the more wacky colors or the more off the wall colors will be under 100 pounds 75 pounds 80 pounds 90 pounds that kind of thing and i think they are a good purchase i wear mine at work 
I tend to kind of go through to size for shoes and shoes I'm a size 10 the UK 10 and clocks fit that way I do find with some of the high top uh, shoes that they can be a bit snug um, if you go true to size so for the boots wallaby clark boots I tend to go to a ten and a half but for lows which I prefer I'm a true to size 10 mostly um, but they are on the snugger side a little bit my trainer side my Nike Air size is usually ten and a half minimum so half down really for the sizing on the wallabies but yeah great great shoe all about the clarks man all about the clocks so recommendation try and get the pairs in hand I would say um, have a look at them be rigorous and like you're scrutinizing the materials because i think you pay your money make sure you get what 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 you're worth um but yeah clark's wallabies man can't go wrong so if you enjoyed the video please subscribe i'd really appreciate that I, i'm into just a fan of trainers full stop so if this is the kind of thing that appeals to you got a few videos coming up um to churn out so yeah peace i'll see you in the next one